Hello YouTube, this is RC67 coming at you. Uh, what I want to do right now is uh, showcase some of the cars in my collection that I've had since I was a little kid. Uh, and these are cars that are from probably when I was 10 years old, maybe even earlier than that. This is, these are cars that I've had since like 1974, 75, 76 in time frame. So some of them are in pretty good shape. Some of them I've actually taken apart and restored myself. But I have a handful of cars that uh, survived my childhood, and I want to show a few of those off. Right now, I have a Corvette that's on the turnstile right now. It's been played with a lot, but a fun car. I've got a couple of them, but this is one of the cars I had when I was a little kid playing. A little camper truck as well. Um, don't know where I got it or how long I've had it. I know I've had it a long time. Again, this was a car I had played with a lot when I was a kid uh, and has survived several moves as in a, uh, going through adulthood and stuff. So, um, but it's a, a fun little car to have. It's kind of cool looking to look at. I know that off of this line, they made a, a paramedic car, a tow truck, the camper truck. And I think they did like a box uh, career type of truck. So it's another one of my favorite cars. This is a, uh, 77 hot birds what they call it this came out right after the smoking the bandit movie came out with uh, burt reynolds and sally fields and uh, as soon as this car was available uh when we went to the store and i saw it i begged my mom to buy it and she bought it for me and i actually did play with it a little bit but it was one of my favorite cars so i never really played with it on the rough side i was always a little bit more uh, cautious with playing with this car because I wanted to try and keep it as nice as I could and actually it's in pretty good shape I mean some of the uh, pinstriping on the on the roof on the t-top are a little messed up but as a whole it's actually in really really good shape there's another car I have it's a 57 Thunderbird I still have the track and the box that go with this set and this little track that the car would get shot down it would go through a loop-de-loop -loop and then jump the jump a little gap into another track and then you know crash in the wall uh but i again this one survived as well i i've been able to keep the track and the box together as well as the car and again it's got some scuff marks and some wear and tear but again it's it's survived many many years with me this is a car that has probably seen better days. Uh, this is a Johnny Lightning car that I probably got, I think when I was getting maybe closer into junior high, I probably wasn't playing his cars as much. I was at that point probably, you know, putting firecrackers in them and trying to blow them up or whatever with my friends or smash them with a hammer to see how they would survive and make crash up derby cars. But uh, this is a little, uh, little Chevy Nova that I got uh, along, the, along the line somewhere. This is a Starsky, Starsky and Hutch car. Uh, the, the, the TV show came out, I believe, in like 1975 or 76. This is the 77 Grand Torino, uh, or 76 Grand Torino, I believe. Uh, it used to have a white sticker as the stripe on the car, but again, playing with it so much over the years, it just came off. But again, it survived um, my childhood. I, I don't know how, but it did. And it got played with a lot. This is a tow truck I have. It's called Tojo. I actually have two of these, and believe it or not, they have survived as well. They are not scuffed up too bad. These were probably cars I didn't beat up too much, um, but it did survive the line in my collection. Little Matchbox. Um, I think it's a Mustang, uh, like uh, station wagon type of thing. Uh, it's been played with a lot and banged around and it's got a lot of scuffs and dings on it uh, one of the stickers on one side is missing but it's been it's again it's been in my collection since i was a kid i think i've had this one probably since i was about 10 or 11 years old so fun little car to play with though another little mustang that i got when i was a kid and it's called a piston popper uh, again this one got played with a lot when i was growing up and uh had a lot of fun with it, but it definitely, it definitely has seen it day as well. This is a car that you just saw. This is a Mustang that I had that got beat up, banged on, trashed on. Uh, I ended up taking it apart a couple years ago 
and uh, sanding it down and painting it, putting a new set of wheels on it because the wheels on it that were on were just trashed. Um, I didn't do a real good job on it. I was just kind of getting into trying to learn how to restore Hot Wheels at that time. This is one of my projects I think I'm going to pull apart again and, and restore it. But I pulled it all apart, uh, put a little, you know, painted it uh, red and with black, and then I painted the lights and stuff and put new wheels on it. But, uh, it, you know, like I said, for as old as the car is, it actually held up pretty well. So, a uh, little Nomad car I've had since I was a kid that uh, has, you know, made it through the, uh, the trials and terrors of uh, playing in the sandbox with all my friends. Uh, never got smashed up, but it did make it, uh, it did actually survive. So, that was another one that was in my collection that I found when I was going through my mom's house after I was moving out when I was an adult. And last but not least is this uh, Cadillac. Uh, I believe it's an Eldorado. And this car originally was purple and it got beat up pretty bad and scraped up and pounded on. Um, I stripped it apart, uh, painted it black and then just blacked out the wheels on it. Uh, it's, I mean, it's okay. It's, uh, like I said, it's not worth anything, but it has a lot of sentimental value to me, but it was a fun one to kind of play with and bang around on. So, but, uh, if you like what you saw tonight, uh, please like subscribe, uh, make a comment if you'd like to, uh, thanks again for watching. This is RC 67 signing out.